correlation between better soil fertility management and carbon sequestration is now well established. How much of carbon will be sequestered in the soil depends on how much of organic carbon is put into the soil, how much of it is transformed into soil organic matter, and how that soil organic matter gets decomposed. Although the potential for carbon sequestration in African soils is high, but the low carbon input because of low crop yields and the high carbon mineralization because of the high temperature uh, makes it really difficult to sequester high amounts of carbon into the soil and would require much concerted effort to increase crop biomass input and carbon sequestration. Nutrients are a key factor in crop production and when we apply nutrients in the right way and in the right rate, we ensure that we optimize crop productivity and that takes a lot of carbon from the soil and that carbon when retained in the soil through the crop residues results in storage of carbon in agricultural soils. Soil organic carbon is mostly driven by the plant biomass production. In order to improve the production, to optimize the productivity of plant biomass in a given area, we require, we must have the right availability of nutrients. In this sense, providing to the plants the right amount of nutrients, the right soil fertility, is mandatory in order to sequester more carbon in our soils. Uh, I think agriculture could be a good solution for this problem related to climate change and also it could be a solution for food security. But here we speak about sustainable agriculture, more uh, agroecology agriculture, uh, because we can achieve the both goal of food security and also in, in terms of uh, climate change mitigation and adaptation by removing the extra CO2 and uh, sequestering carbon on the soil. While there are many management practices that a farmer could adopt, I'll break them down into four. The first one is increase the fertility of your soil so that you are able to increase the biomass that you accumulate and then manage the residues by putting them back into the soil so that you increase your carbon input. The second thing you want to do is you want to increase the period which your soil is covered by crops so that your soil is not vulnerable to erosion agents. The third thing you want to do is you want to ensure that your soil is not tilled uh, that often. So you want to reduce tillage or zero tillage so that you don't release carbon that you have stored. Then the fourth point you want to consider is have crops, select crops that have deep roots and high productivity. The deep roots or, uh, or the massive amount of root biomass would then represent a carbon input into the soil. So basically in a nutshell, that's what you need to do. The addition of inorganic uh, fertilizers is important for short-term nutrient management. The addition of organic matter from crops or from manure and or from other different sources is important for long-term fertility management. So, as you are adding organic matter in the soil, you are sequestering your carbon and also contributing to long-term fertility management.